Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the news of Ashirok TV. Our headlines tonight include Sudan Friends online conference hosted by Riyadh. Freedom and Change reveals Western Kurdistan vision. A BA supervisory committee condemns attack on the area. Sudan Friends Online Conference is scheduled tomorrow, Wednesday, in the capital, Riyadh. The conference comes in the series of meetings kicked off in 2019. Inaugurated by the Saudi Foreign Minister, Prince Faisal bin Farhan, the conference is due to touch on the peace process in the presence of the armed movement. The outcome of Sudan Partners Conference held recently in Germany is involved as well. The conference will be addressed by a member of the Sovereign Council, Mohammed Hassan Taishi, the Prime Minister, Dr. Abdullah Hamdok, mediator of the Southern Sudan State, and representatives of the armed movement. The Finance Minister, the designate, met with the Saudi Ambassador to Khartoum last week, discussing preparations to convene the said conference. Hosting the conference embodies Saudi Arabia, concerned with achieving stability, peace, and sustainable development, anticipated to create economic boom. Freedom and Change Forces disclosed transitional period vision to the government of Western Kurdufan State. The vision includes an emergency plan for 90 days. Kurdufan State Governor described the meeting with Freedom and Change Forces as successful, whereas both parties reached joint understanding concerning a pipeline plan. As an integrated, the plan is due to enhance security, peace and development in the state. This could be realized by sustained solutions, alleviating hurdles, hindering performance, the governor added. A BA supervisory committee condemned the heinous offensive preparated by SPLA forces in southern Sudan on Guli and the Denka village, leaving three residents dead, including a child and three wounded. Chairman of the Committee for the ABA, Major General Azzeddin Osman Mohammed, asserted in a press statement importance of safeguarding residents frequently exposed to violations, bringing perpetrators to trial, as he called for enhancing peaceful coexistence in the area with a stress on implementing the relevant protocol. The Ministry of Irrigation and Water Resources unearthed resumption of negotiations on the filling up and operations of the Great Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. This came in a statement affirming that negotiations on the dam resumed at the invitation of the African Union in the presence of the experts and observers. The Sudanese delegation participating in the negotiations demanded delay of negotiations for one week to continue internal consultations its negotiating team has been engaged in. The Under Secretary of Energy and Mining Ministry, Dr. Hamid Suleiman, met with the Governor of Sinar State, shedding light on mechanism adopted to make stability a reality. Distribution of fuel and magnitude of consumption required for projects were discussed as well. Dr. Suleiman stressed keenness on setting out sustainable solutions to ensure energy sources, calling on the General Suppliers Directorate to provide requirements to respond to the agricultural season. For his part, Sinar Governor affirmed significance of providing energy supplies considered as a top priority, particularly the region contributes to economic growth remarkably. <music> Director General of Antiquities and Museums, Dr. Hadim Al-Nur, confirmed the importance of preserving Sudanese heritage and civilization, pointing out to the historical role played by December Revolution martyrs in the transformation that prevailed the country. He said the revolution's mottos should be documented and released in a volume since they represent the national unity and lofty values. Funded by Italy, a project to preserve and rehabilitate Sudan National Museum has been launched by the Antiquities Corporation. The project supervised by UNESCO is widely responded by archaeologists both domestically and abroad for it is anticipated to highly attract tourists for a museum symbolizing different era civilizations. 45 activists visit Sudan regularly, contributing to excavation and exploration in association with the corporation together with preserving of archaeological sites, Dr. Anur revealed. And now we remind you with the headlines. Sudan Friends Online Conference hosted by Riyadh. Freedom and Change reveals Western Kurdistan vision. ABA Supervisory Committee condemns attack on the area. Thank you so much for following and see you tomorrow.